Nothing about that, Mark. We need to get an assist, so I want one of these guys. To... Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. Oh, it's hit the post. There is Argos, you're up. What's going on guys and girls, this is our God Zero back again with episode 6 of the Pro Career in AFL Evolution. Thanks for joining me once again. This episode we're taking on the Northern Knights Football Club. Looking for 6 in a row after taking down the Calder Cannons in the last episode. This week's match objectives, 1 behind, 2 drop punts in general play or set shot. And one goal assist, either kick or handball. That goal assist one might be a bit hard because we've been trying to fucking get the season objectives ones done. And the Stingrays seem to stuff it up every time I pass them the ball. So it's going to be very interesting. As you see here, we're going to check the ladder. The Stingrays up on top. The only team in the competition so far undefeated. Good percentage as well, 514, because we've conceded bugger all points against us. It dawned to me I haven't even shown you what the fixture looks like yet, so here we go. This is what the fixture screen looks like, giving you the times, the venue, the home and away teams. There are 18 games total, so we're not far off from the halfway mark. Taking on the Knights in this episode, here we go. Here for this battle between the Knights and the Stingrays. As always, guys, before we kick off, I just want to thank you for the overwhelming support on the AFL Evolution series thus far. And I've got some exciting news. The next upload of AFL Evolution will be the first episode in the Coach Career series. I did a straw poll in which people voted as to which team they wanted to see me play. There was an outstanding winner that had votes well surpassing the other teams. I wasn't overly excited because I'm not really keen on them as a football club in real life. However, I think we can do some good things with the young list that this particular team has. And a few trades here and there might see some of the older fellas take off and bring in some young talent from other clubs as well. So stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already to follow the upcoming coach career mode that will be dropping with my next upload as we've got the captains from the Stingrays and the Northern Knights shaking hands before the match. Coin toss here, Stingrays with the call. We have the toss of the coin. And we've lost the and we'll be kicking toss. to the left well, of screen. Patience is a virtue, but if we wait any longer for the siren to kick things off, I'm sure this crowd will get a little... Which I don't know why I keep telling you which way we're kicking, considering we'll be kicking oh, behind me turn. every time. There's nothing that ignites the passion of a footy lover more than the opening bounce. Both Here we go. Eager to dominate the now, if you didn't the see the last the episode, the we were benched for the entire third quarter, so I'm hoping the, the coach has taken a good cup of coffee sure this morning and has gotten any issues with me out of the way because I don't want to be sitting the whole quarter out on the bench this week because it unfortunately meant we fell Play short with our match objectives up. last Takes week, sitting well. that entire quarter out, made it a bit hard to finish off. However, let's hope we can get all three done this week and get some bonus XP. And head the towards living up our character. The pigskin. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rule that one. He gathers the loose ball. The loose ball. Big hip and shoulder. All right, let's go. Running man delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Lining up the goal now. Ooh, we look to be in a bit of trouble early here. They're getting a lot of touches on the ball. The Knights, and they're going to kick it backwards. Nice mark there. And they've turned it over. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Nice hands. And we've turned it back team, over. Speaking, Absolutely unbelievable. Chips it down towards half forward. Why are nice you chipping it back here. and forth? Chip kick along the way. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Wicked Witch, could you please do us all a favour and bring out a Good patch that actually gives a set of brains to the AI system? Because I'm starting to get a little bit fed up with this kick to kick bullshit, Slides I have to say. Strong man. As another kick to kick fucking happens. Here we go. Probably turn it over again. Oh, look at that. One on a turnover. Oh, look at that. I suppose the Stingrays... Oh, no, the Stingrays didn't get it there, but maybe here. No, they didn't. All right. Throwing the ball. That's a free kick to the Stingrays. Advantage paid. String of handballs. Come on, it's 2v1 there. You should not lose that contest. All right, come on. Oh, what's he done? 
Ball crosses the boundary. The captain's absolutely munted it and he's handballed way too wide. The Knights coach As we see the, the interchange little vignette go there. For the front spot. Nice little touch. I don't know whether it's Takes completely position. necessary to watch the interchange happening, but... He manages to send out the handball. Oh, he's done it again. I hate it. I absolutely hate when a replay happens and we get put back to our starting position. We could witch. Please, once again. That is something I'd like to see change. Let us stay in the positions we've moved our character to. There are some times I've actually moved myself in a good position for the next link in the chain of a play. And then a replay happens, and I get sent back to the half-forward line. And that was a pretty piss-poor first quarter because neither team has scored. Not very impressive at all by any stretch of the imagination. Let's go to the stats sheet now and see how the players perform. Having a look at the stats, there's not really nothing to boast about. We've had Daniel majority of the possession, but we've been very, very the wasteful. Knights the Northern top. Knights with the only inside Northern 50 for the game as well. Stats, Knox, Southern, and it turns out, have a look, it's our back line two. and our captain that have Cheers the most chair. touches, obviously, because it's spent most of the time up in that back half. Got to really pull our fingers out here because we haven't even made one step towards any of our match objectives here. So, come on, let's get the big clearance out. Come on, Captain, get it out. They can't seem to maintain possession. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Over my head again. Straight to my opponent. I don't know why I lead out to a certain spot and they kick it behind me. Every time. He kicks it long. So frustrating. Wow, he came back so quick. I Big think grab. Me the Too bad I turned off the replay so we don't have to watch that again. Come on, guys. Turn it over. Let's go. Come on, Ray. He's in his possession. Come on. Scoops up the ball. Dishes it off by hand. Here we go. Here we go. Spears a low ball. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Here we go. Touch oh, he's punched it through. Thought I was on there, but he got a hand to it at the last minute and punched it through for behind. First score of the game, rushed behind for the Dandenong Stingrays. So the one rule we have not seen paid yet in this season has been a deliberate call, so it'd be interesting to see how the umpires go about paying deliberates, actually. That'd be great to see. He's got the football now. Come on, guys. Oh, stop sending me back. I'm trying to make position. He's going to try and kick it instead of hand passing it, obviously. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get a handball. Get a handball. Dribbles. Yes. The first goal of the match. Cheeky little tap over the top with the handball. And the Stingrays have kicked their first major. Very nice hands there. Quick little dribble kick straight onto the boot. No time to muck around. He grabs it, and as soon as he grabs it, it's straight onto the boot. A brief moment of serenity before the ball Definitely knows how to find the goals, the big man. Alright, come on. We should be out here. We should be out here. Chip kick along the way. Ellis gets the oh, here we go. Come on, Ellis. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. Come on. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The dog was huge. He brings it out of the pack. Takes that one strongly. That's another thing I'm kind of a little bit upset with with the game as well, the commentary. I think if you watch all of my videos, the commentary seems to be the exact same lines of dialogue every time. I think moving forward, they need to have at least, if not a more diverse line of dialogue recording. I think they should actually record more than just the two commentators and mix it up every game. So maybe we have a combination of different commentators. It'd be good every now and then to maybe hear like a... A Gary Lyon or a Dermot Brereton or a Bruce McAvaney. Bruce McAvaney would be awesome, especially if Cyril Rioli gets a touch because if he doesn't like jizz all over the broadcasting go. box every He's time Cyril gets a touch, really a I would grabs it on the run. fucking eat my controller, I tell you what. Pick up by Carter. Hits the running man. The ball mopped up. Man down. Very rough man game. Down. We need a medic. Stingrays have been hit with an injury. 
think about as they trail. Very poor quarter again. Only seven points scored, but we are in front. But we have taken no steps towards our match objectives at all. Not good. We're going to have to lift in the second half, as we can see here for the stats. We're still winning majority of it, but the Northern Knights are keeping up with us. Rainer now moving up as one of the major ball winners. And obviously we are the only goal kicker for the game so far. Let's go down and have a look at our stats. We've had just the one touch. Apparently, team are giving an inch in the terms of marking the sting race on six. One touch, one goal, going at a hundred percent. Enlightening, Richo. We're halfway through the game. We don't look at the single stats like I just did often, so I thought I'd jump in and have a quick look. I did know I only had the one. I was trying to trick you guys into thinking I was a better player than that, but I don't think it worked. All right, here we go. Second half. Have to lift our game. And the Northern Knights might be out here. Easy handballs. They've found someone out. Oh, no. Oh, he's gone the easy handball over the top. They're going to kick a goal here. If he's kicked that or handballed that and it's gone over the boundary line, that should be deliberate, umpire. He controls the bouncing ball. Now that's just giving the ball. Big hip and shoulder. With a difficult bouncing ball. Huge. Huge leap. I'm surprised I haven't seen any reports because I have played one online match and every time I laid a hip and shoulder, every single character I did it with seemed to get reported for rough conduct every time. So. Good to see that's not the case in career mode, otherwise teams would be struggling to field a, a, few field a team every week. Six point lead to the Stingrays. Very low scoring game. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Distance could be the problem. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. The game does seem to move a lot quicker without those replays as well, so I'm glad I finally turned those off. Obviously, except for goals and behinds, we don't need to see a replay every time some prick takes a specky or a diving mark or goes and has a hot dog at half time. He's had a crack. He's missed. And he's missed it. Thank Christ. Stingrays by five. There's only a kick in it now. It's not the score he was looking for. How close was he? Was he close at all? He's searching for his teammates. Did not look like it. Just do a slow little jog here. Come on, Rays. He's no oil painting, but look at him. All right, the here we go. Like pop -up toaster. Well, he gave it a shot. Right now, he looks like a man in a darkened room trying come on, to boys. discover where all the furniture is. Sends come on, come on, turn it over. Be decisive. Come on, oh, be decisive. shit. The wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Thomas presents and takes... Good the intercept there by Thomas. Very reliable, that bloke. As he, yes, As he turns it over. I should just keep my mouth shut sometimes. I really yes. should. He wins the contest. Oh crap! Forty-five meters. A out. kick to put them in front. Going for goal number one. He's missed it. He's just actually managed to sneak that in for a behind. That was almost the out of bounds. The Northern Knights still in with a chance. You'll be disappointed with that effort. Knights are absolutely right taking it up to us. Nice contested mark by four. And we've turned it straight over. Holy Touches shit. Come on, get the... Oh, no. A contested mark. Guys, come on. Angle. This come on. Difficult for him. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> oh, good clean. intercept there. All right, let's get this ball out of here. Gets the upper hand. You just need a couple of kicks. A couple of drop punt kicks. I've turned it over. Holy shit. The siren nice little contested mark, now. and we've just Sends turned it, it over. This has been a very poor game, actually. I'm very disappointed. 
Three points to seven points at three quarter time is absolutely crap. Stingrays by four points. It's actually the toughest game we've fought out so far. The Northern Knights are taking it to us. It's hard to get hands on the ball. The last roll of the dice if Northern contend to make any inroads to this deficit. Having a look at the stats, there is not much difference. Rayner, the leading possession getter, which is big considering he plays in the forward pocket. We're not looking good at getting our match objectives here, guys, but uh, we'll try. It's going to have to be a big last quarter. If you have noticed, I have made the quarter lengths shorter, but I am thinking of putting them back up because I've noticed, although the match objectives themselves become a little bit better to achieve, with the way the teams have been playing, it's getting it... There we go, that's one complete, so, and I turn it over again. I've had two kicks in the last fucking quarter and a bit, and I've turned both over. But I think I will get it back to five-minute quarters because match objectives are easier to, to complete. And we can get that little bit extra XP as well, which would be good. The spilled ball is collected. The umpire calls a free kick. Picture perfect drop punt. Nice mark under pressure. Oh, come on. Here we go. 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 Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. We need to get an assist. So I want one of these guys. To... Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's hit the post. We've got our one behind completed. I thought that was going to bounce for a second. I was got... Oh, wow. Disappointing kick there. Right there. I thought, all right, it's going to hold up for him. And then I thought, holy shit, that's going to go through for a goal. And it's nicked the post. I mean, we needed to kick it behind for the match objective, so I'm happy we did that. But that was a really close ball. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult. So I'd suggest holy shit. Time and just look Stingrays by option. five points. This is shocking. This is a score you'd see in an under-9s match. But an under-9s game might actually have a higher score. Turn it over. Hands like dinner All right, plates. come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sends the Sharon on its way. Great mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Strong mark. All right, here we go. Drops the ball. Come on. By hand. Come on. Jams it on the boot. Grabs Ooh. the footy. Hits the running come on. Man. It's like he has the Thought ball I was on there. Spring. Thought I had a good chance. Come on, oh, you idiot. Is and it's going to put me behind him. Holy shit. Oh, no, no, no. Peterson stabs the goal home. Well, I'll get around him for that because it's not often the little prick goes back and kicks a goal. But it frustrates the shit out of me whenever a replay happens and it puts me back into my position. If I've made position to hit full forward to get the next ball in the chain of play, do not put me all the way back to my starting position and stuff up all that work. Well aware it's cherry picking by sitting in the goal square waiting for the easy ball. But oh, big! Anastasios, here we go, we might be on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go for the goal. Oh, I've hit the post again. I thought I was just about to sneak that home at the last minute then. Still got to try and get a sneaky... Oh, shit. Here we go. Well... Looks like we're going to be sitting the rest of this game on the bench. I honestly don't think there is enough time on the clock for the Northern Knights to get a couple of goals. But I could be wrong here. They could be out here. Uh-oh. Dishes it off to the running player. Good hands. Thomas, oh, good play there. Yep, Dennis, he's a Very good play by the Stingrays. That's going to be game over. The man. So I'm going to get in a little bit early as always, guys, before the end of this game, just to thank you all once again for the overwhelming support on the AFL Evolution series. As I said, the next upload you will see on the channel with the first episode of the Coach Career Mode with the team that you guys voted for. So I'm very excited to bring that to you all. 
and I can't thank you enough for all the support you have given me once again. I know I've said it a couple of times now, but I hugely appreciate you guys getting behind the channel and supporting myself. It means more than you guys will ever know. If you did enjoy this video, as always, be sure to smash that thumbs up button to show your support as we get player of the match again there. If you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to follow the AFL Evolution series and everything else I bring to the channel in future. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.